and we had done photography uh, before. Like we'd gone to Coffee and Octane mainly. That's where, that's the main place we were doing it, um, taking pictures of our own cars, things like that. But we were just doing it just just to really like do. It. We we didn't really have like a well, Faison had much more of a of a vision as to like where it was going than I did. But from what I was from what I was seeing, we were just we were fishing is what we were doing, which is a method of filmmaking of cinematography where you basically just record everything and hope something comes up. You fish, basically, and you hope for a good catch uh, rather than going out and intentionally trying to set up good pictures like, hey, can you move your car here? Can you uh, do this? Can you pose this way? You just you just go around cool environments and record everything, take pictures of everything and just wait for something to happen, you know, which looks like it has more of an aesthetic. Now, to be fair, I was going for a lot more blooming. I did cut out quite a lot of detail here. I cut out a lot. I added this one. As you can see, the A in the background. Um, that one's not subtle. I was, I was supposed to make it smaller, but I, I wish I like cut it off. I wish I put it right there. But there's a lot more brightness coming into this picture, right? It kind of hurts the eyes to look at this. But that's kind of what I was going for, is the blooming is this like, a lot of fantasy look. Like I, I tend to over edit this sort of thing. But like, look at how, compared to this, look at how like fucking boring and bland and generic. Look at me just like standing what kind of dumb shit is this like so like look at this 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 is this is one and this is actually from um this is from the same night i actually kind of like i like this picture on the right even though it's stupid over edited look at how it's so fantasy looking i like to do that with lights at and only at night though only at night i don't like to show any detail i intentionally um turn the da slider down i turn the texture slider down i turn the clarity slider down like i i go all out with it um and so it's very very fuzzy right? But I literally, I added smoke in here. There was le not this much smoke. I took the smoke from two different long exposures and I added them together. I made sure you can actually see the colors in all this stuff. A lot of people would edit this in a way where you couldn't see the colors of any of this. I like to bring out the color. Now, of course, I, I take it too far. This is, this is too far. I get that. And this is very obviously two separate. You could see there's, there's two separate paintings going on here but at least it's better than these like garbage safe oh let me just play it safe let me not do any like honestly i like this picture i think it's nice i think this is much more consistent with the colors um than the other one i think it's not bad i think the shirt looks ugly i, I, I could have done better on that i shouldn't i shouldn't have made it so high contrast so the clarity is ridiculous on this and with this right here yeah better framing too this isn't this just isn't like the best taken photo. I should have been further back, gotten a bit more depth of field, and maybe a bit shorter of a long exposure. It doesn't need to be that bright. It's a bit different now. Nowadays, when I take pictures at night, I intentionally go for the dark look. I turn the uh, uh, exposure comp down, negative one, negative 1 1.7, whatever, because I, like I like the nighttime aesthetic. As long as people can see the details, I let them fill in the blanks in their own head as to what's going on. And then there's this one right here, which is, again, very over-edited. The leaves were not this green, his shirt was not this pink. His skin is not this saturated. This is very, very over edited. I think the gold is on this watch is actually precise. I think that's on point. I think that's exactly what it looked like in person. Um, but like you could see, I shifted the hue to make it a lot more pink because it's pink skies. And then pink with this yellow, with this orangish, this like deep saturated orange. I oversaturated the fuck out of this. There's a lot of pink right here. And then as you can see, this is completely unsaturated, which it's kind of obvious to tell this is one layer and then this is another layer. <laughs> it's obvious when you look back at it, but it's like at the time I thought this was awesome. I thought this was a good edit. And you know, I still think it's a pretty, mm, the leaves suck, but I think this is an okay edit. The problem here is I pushed for too much pink. I should have tinted it to more green on, on him because his face is, this is not, a, a, this is not even a real skin tone. This skin tone has never existed in a human being in the history of human beings ever. I could have done a lot better. Ooh, you know where I edited some good photos? On um, the Charlotte trip. This photo is kind of ugly. The thing is you take the photos with the flash and it, it really smooths out their skin and stuff like that. It's eh. it's an ugly photo aesthetically, but it's like if you fish, if you combine this philosophy with like the fishing philosophy, right? And you um just get as many of these as you can and just go all out and you go, okay, can I do something here? Oh, maybe I can get to this angle. Maybe uh, this might look cool. Maybe uh, he might like, he might appreciate this photo. Maybe it would look good on his, on his Instagram if he had a photo like this. 
oh, maybe I can get this opportunity. He might be going this way next to get this drink. Maybe I should intercept him on the way and get a candid shot of him walking. So, like, you think about these things, and um, if you fish enough, eventually you'll find something. I think these photos are the ones that I edited, actually. I don't think these photos ever end up in the hands of Sham. Yeah, this is very clear. I, I even blurred out the weed in this one. And uh, I don't think Sham likes this sort of thing. But it's like me, I like to throw in little bits and pieces of editing here and there wherever I can. I'm like, well, let me blur this out. Even though it really, it, like, it means nothing. It doesn't really matter who the hell cares. But I don't know. In the other pictures, I didn't even blur it out. I just felt like, hey, might as well make it a little more enticing to look at on Instagram, give you a little bit of, a little bit of extra something to think about, you know? Ooh, I like this picture. Now again, let me preface this, I over edit. Um, I push things to their limits, I push pictures to their limits, I'm well aware of that. But this is one of my favorite edits, just because of the vibe that it is. If you go to car meets super early in the morning, right, you know this feeling. There's a feeling that this picture elicits with all this pink and this flare right here and the Dunkin' Donuts. And it's like, we're like super tired, sleep deprived, we're waking up super early, going to Dunkin' Donuts, let's get some donuts and let's go to Cafe and Octane, let's go to Cars and Coffee, whatever. We gotta get a good parking spot. And this feeling of like stopping this place to get it, and the sun was not this bright. I dehazed it mad. And everything is just so saturated that early in the morning. Everything feels so good. There's no worries. All the worries are gone. The original picture, I don't know what the original picture was, but I think it's like when a car is white, I love doing this. This was like, the sun was rising, you know? It was early in the morning, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., something like that which is super early for us. We don't wake up at 8 a.m., 9 a.m. And obviously, you know, there wasn't a pinkish, orangish hue on everything. I just put that on there because I'm more concerned with eliciting a feeling, trying to communicate how things felt rather than exactly how things looked. The eyes are deceptive. They don't see exactly the same way as a camera. And trying to communicate a feeling above all else, it's gonna require a bit more. If we view things in an analytical way and we didn't have any imagination, then animating stuff, 2D animation, anime, cartoons, the Lion King, that stuff, it would never work. But you can exaggerate things. You can exaggerate uh, emotions and movements and all that stuff in visuals to elicit a much greater feeling and communicate a message, basically. And that's why I over edit. That's why I pump my edits um, with a bit more flair to them. It is, it is inaccurate. And this has a bit of that remnants of like classic Sony pink discoloration. I think I just cranked that up. But it, look at dude, look, his car wasn't even that clean. I cleaned it up in post. Look at how smooth it looks. It looks like a bar of ice cream. Phase doesn't over edit. So he edits to like a more reasonable extent. And the, the weird thing is like, I never got to send my, my edits to Sham, but this was the picture that Sham actually posted. This is a lot more accurate to what it actually looked like, except even in this photo, the flare was not that big. But yeah, you look at this and you look at that side by side and you tell me which edit you like better. These are two different photos, but you tell me which one you prefer. Now, I think for someone like Sham, you know, I wasn't thinking in the perspective of Sham's shoes when I was editing my photo. Sham obviously liked this photo, um, or maybe he didn't, I, he didn't see my photo, but it's likely that because Faye's was thinking in the perspective, Faze had a much stronger foresight as to where this sort of career path was headed down. And so because he was thinking about it, if Sham saw these two pictures side by side, he would likely pick his. You look at like this, like the brick color versus mine, and you see like, oh, I'm cutting out a lot of detail because of how saturated and deep and clear everything is. Actually, he added quite a lot more flair in his than I did in mine. He dehazed it quite a bit more but I just made mine sheen, shiny. Uh, I believe I combined multiple layers with it. So that's just what I do whenever there's car photos. I like to make separate layers for the wheels, separate layers for the windows, separate layers for the body color, all that stuff. I love this. It promotes a feeling more than anything else. That's what I like to do with pictures. I don't get to do that so much anymore. That's why I don't take pictures anymore. This is definitely more clear Ultimately better is subjective in this case, but I'll be straight up. I like my picture way more um, It depends on what you're going for, but if you're going for a feeling I think mine accurately represents the feeling that we were feeling. I was so tired I wouldn't get out of my car. I was sitting there eating beef jerky 
it's early in the morning. We're like, damn, bro, we got to get get this coffee. Get to going, bro. Get to going. Got to get a good parking spot. And it, everything is so bright. Like your eyes are still adjusting. That kind of feeling, I feel like I really elicited that with this picture. You know, it feels like it's early morning. It doesn't feel like sunset. This feels like sunrise. Yo, look at this picture. Honestly, bro, I look back at these pictures, I hate them. Dude, our photos, dude, even my photos, they suck back in, bro. This is so over-edited. I over-edited the <laughs> hell out of this. It's yeah, because, dude, it's because we went there, it was still dark out, and it was insane that we could get this kind of, like, it's because we were shooting raw. It's because this is, like, shortly after we started shooting raw, and I just wanted to push as much, like, clarity and color as I could yeah. out of these raw photos. That's what like, I was doing. It looks like a video game. 